my name is Patty Kennedy. I'm the program coordinator here at the Heritage Farm at Spring Valley. We're here for Christmas in the Valley um, and we're here for the Because show. So let's go around and see what sort of neat things there are. <laughs> Karen, she's one of our volunteers here at the farm. Um, we're coming over to see what you're up to. So how's we're, it going? <laughs> it's going just fine and we're making Christmas dinner. Yes. We're going to be having an uncured ham, which is from the hog that we butchered at our hog house to smokehouse event. We're also going to be having red cabbage with apples and potato pancakes, spinach, acorn squash and then we're uh, Caitlin is making a linzer tort and also uh, uh, butter kuchen very nice. so it's actually smelling very nice in the kitchen right now <laughs> I, I can smell the red cabbage and I love it so here we are in the summer kitchen and ladies what are we up to today in here today we're making stolen mm -hmm. And what is stolen? It's a traditional Christmas German bread. It looks like it has raisins. Does it have raisins? It has raisins. Actually, the original, the original Stollen came from Dresden in eastern Germany. And it was made with the dough and with raisins. Um, since then, different parts of Germany have embellished and added their own, so there are as many different kinds of Stollen as there are regions of Germany. And now they have candied fruit in them and nuts. Sometimes they have a marzipan, which is an almond paste. And the, the traditional shape is an oval. And it was actually, it dates back to the 1400s, that far back. And, um, wow. And it's in conjunction, they would make it for the churches. And sometimes they'd make, I think the, the latest is like a 2,000 pound Stollen that's marched through the city of Dresden and brought to church and cut up and people buy it and the proceeds go to feed the poor. So that's one of the stories, one of the traditions. Very nice. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, we're here with Carly today. Um, she's here from Whole Foods, and I'm coming to ask you what you're up to and also to say thank you for helping support us here at the farm. It's always appreciated, and it's wonderful to see you guys here every time. So what are you up to today? Um, so today we are sampling some of our cookies to see which ones um, the kids are going to leave with Santa. It's been kind of fun. We bake these in-house. Um, and we're also making some snack mix for Santa's reindeer. Um, we've been told by Santa himself that um, they need to have their oats and their pretzels and the marshmallows and chocolate chips are a treat, um, but if they have too much, they can't fly. So the kids have been trying to build the perfect reindeer mix. <laughs> Very good. And if they sample some of it, it's not such a horrible thing yeah, either, exactly, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's the season, right? Exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. So here we are at the cabin with St. Nick and two lovely young girls. How are you guys? Good. Good. <laughs> you having fun at the cabin? Yeah. Yeah? Did you eat? Yeah. We yeah. Just started. Did you make your owl yet? Yeah. yeah. Is it cute? Yes. <laughs> and here we are with St. Nick himself. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Good. Keep him warm by the fire, I see. Yes, I certainly am. <laughs> Have you seen a lot of children so far? Yes, they're all coming in happy to see the snow. Good, good. I'm glad. It's a gorgeous day, isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful winter day. Thank you very much for being here. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you very much for 
coming with us today. I hope you all had a good time and that you have a Merry Christmas and holiday season. Um, enjoy!